van life. It almost broke me. We've all been there where we sat on the sofa in the dark COVID times, googling van life, van travels, living in a van, van in the wilderness. I did that. Yep. And I booked myself a lovely romantic trip with my husband to a derelict but converted school bus. It's an old American school bus with a VW van on the top where you sleep. It looked absolutely amazing in the middle of July. The time came around for us to go on this journey in January and uh, things didn't really go to plan. So we rocked up on the first day of the adventure and our wonderful hosts, the owners of the bus, gave us three words, three words, why? I don't know, that thing where you get three words and it gives you a location on a map. It was super exciting because you didn't know the location of the van and as soon as you arrived at the farm, they were there to greet us and the lovely lady told us to head through three fields up the hill and there we would find the van and we did through the mud it was amazing i was so excited the idea of a log burn of fire living the adventure nothing but books no technology no wi-fi i was so excited the owners uh, or company that runs this have currently left some cool snacks caramel bar always a good one uh wine beer tea coffee some milk and water which is kind of cool. This was like taking me back to my mid-twenties when I just went on those really exciting holidays. So we got there initially, the fire was already lit and it was nice and warm and cozy. It was about five o'clock in the afternoon. We settled down, I read a little book, had a look around the van, checked everything out. Oh, I was just super, super stoked to have had a breakaway after COVID. And yeah, we decided to go and get something to eat and then we would get ready for nighttime in this warm, cozy van. Coming back from something to eat in the dark, that was an adventure in itself. Sheep, poo, mud everywhere. But we arrived back at the van, put the lights on, get the got the log burner, fired up again and um, let's just say my fire was a little bit underwhelming and disappointing and kept going out and it was incredibly frustrating but I managed to keep it going knowing that it was going to burn out when we were in bed and things were hopefully going to be a little bit warmer. How wrong was I? So overnight it was freezing, I mean colder than cold, I was stuck like a leech to my husband. Oh my gosh, I have stayed in the ice hotel in Finland in minus 25 and it didn't feel as cold as in the van. <laughs> so, it's time for bed. It's eerily quiet. Um, we're kind of snug up here, to be honest. The fire stopped burning, so I'm thinking it's going to get cold, hence actually going to bed in a hoodie. <sighs> Let's see what's going to happen. Good night. How was your night, Tom? What? For the sake of a video. Painful. <laughs> I think there were a lot of um, elements that was the video disruptive. <laughs> yeah. Uh, such as the tiny smoke bed. <laughs> <laughs> the smoke alarm that actually lights up the room. <laughs> Maybe we're just too old for this shit. Now, I'm not someone that is broken down emotionally or physically by the cold weather, but something just got to me. And I think the thing that got to me was that I couldn't get the fire going, I couldn't get the fire working. So in the morning, I decided to get up nice and early and try and make a fire and get the outdoor hot tub working because that would surely warm us up. Yet again, I could not get a fire started. I have decided it's a good idea to go out and light the bath. Hot tub. Some will say it's six o'clock and it's pitch black. Yep. Like a scene from the Blair Witch Project. There you go, there's a hot tub. There's a oh, sunrise. Yes, please. Have a bit of that. So, luckily enough, the shower was amazingly warm. Is it warm? Yeah. But I was ready to quit. Yes, She Who Dares Wins was ready to give it all up. Like, I was broken. I was like, I've come away for a nice weekend and I'm freezing. This is like camping outside. I did not sign up for this. And it was through no fault of my own. The van was amazing. Uh, everything about it, all the equipment left there, the instructions were perfect. I just couldn't light a goddamn fire. How many fires have we started? I don't know, it took you three hours. Uh, yes, it's still very cold. We're not great at starting fires. And to be honest with you, 
um, we almost bailed, didn't we? And thought, let's still go might. <laughs> a five star hotel. But Michelle never quits. So, we've had a nice hot shower, benefit. Nothing to do with you. But... No, yeah, that was nothing to do with I don't think we're fit to live off grid, but there we go. OTG. OTG. So, we went out for the day, enjoyed the day out in the Lake District, and we were contemplating booking into a five star hotel. I was that close. Um, but something, something inside me said, no, she who dares wins, not she who dares quits. So I was adamant that on the night we were going to get the fire started and that it would burn through the night and we would stay warm this time. Yeah, you guessed it. That didn't happen. We froze for a whole other night. And I have really never, ever felt this disheartened on a trip away and I think it was because I was to blame I couldn't start the fire and for all you out there were saying well why didn't your husband start the fire this is the thing this is me this is adventurous Michelle I was gonna do this um he did try and help out but equally was as useless as I was last day we are leaving today uh last night wasn't as bad as the night before I was a little bit warmer um it's still quite cold though uh, but yeah it's nice to wake up again and have pretty much nothing but sheep around you. So there we have it. Yeah, I almost threw the towel in. Um, it almost broke me, folks. Yeah, it's a van life if you're considering it. Just think long and hard about your van, your location and the weather. That's all I'm going to say. All right, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Big shout out to Hinderland and the Airbnb who uh, set up this trip. I paid for it, so this video is not sponsored by them. It is an incredible van. Please take that away from this video. It's my crappy fire making skills that made it such a miserable time for me. Um, but I would go back. What an amazing place, amazing scenery and adventure. And I think you need adventures like this uh, to make you stronger. Um, to make you realize what capabilities you do have and don't have. So go and book an adventure, folks, and see if it kills you like it almost did me. Hit that subscribe button and I'll be back real soon with some more videos. Or will I, if I can start a fire.